Davis. It's nice to see you. Hello. Hello. Okay, so let's talk about the weather. There's lots to talk about. It's obviously quite nice out today, but maybe that changes. Uh, yes, there's an atmospheric river on the way. Uh, we've had a couple this year, but they've mostly targeted the central and north coast. North Island got hit a little bit, but this time around, uh, it looks like we are going to be the main target. The west coast of the island especially is looking like it could be pretty hard hit. Uh, just uh, uh, four minutes ago, there was a rainfall warning issued for Metro Vancouver for Friday and Saturday. The rain will likely go from uh, tomorrow heavy starting in the afternoon and then through Sunday morning, but the worst of it will probably be Friday and Saturday. Uh, in parts of Metro Vancouver, totals could be as much as, uh, sorry, so in the city of Vancouver, totals could be as much as 80 millimeters, uh, potentially up to 100. Uh, but up on the North Shore, we could see amounts uh, over 100 millimeters. We could be talking 120 to 150 millimeters of rain in some of these areas. So uh, definitely a, a significant event. Um, if we uh, look into the beginning of next week, things start to calm down. We get a little bit more sunshine as we get into Monday. Uh, we also see uh, just uh, calmer conditions, maybe a few showers Monday morning, but then calm. Uh, temperatures will come up a couple degrees this weekend as that atmospheric river moves in, but uh, then fall back down to where we are right now, around 11 degrees, a couple degrees below seasonal uh, into next week. But uh, yes, I'd say for sure the big weather story this week is going to be the atmospheric river. Uh, some parts of the west coast of Vancouver Island could see as much as 200 millimeters of rain. Oh. So uh, yes, the North Shore, even though they could get, you know, up to 150 millimeters, probably won't be the worst hit. But, you know, clear out the storm drains, clear out your gutters, make sure that you're ready for a soggy weekend. Mm. So... For a long time, atmospheric river wasn't even mm. a term we knew. And now no. every time this comes up, it's just kind of a double reaction, right? Part mm -hmm. of it is like just a lot of fear. Yeah. How do you assess the atmospheric rivers we should be scared about versus mm. the ones that are just part of BC's, the BC coast <laughs> weather system? Right. So I think atmospheric river really entered the the public lexicon in 2021 when we had just a really nasty one. So I know that a lot of people, when they hear the term, uh, get worried. But yeah, really, a lot of people really suffered. In yes, the valley. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. was a, a terrible event. But it's um, sort of like the term heat wave, which is very similar, or, or heat dome even. Uh, 2021 was a really terrible year here in BC for these natural, uh, these weather events. Um, but both of those terms have a technical definition, much like Atmospheric River does. Uh, I think normally I would call this the first big storm of the year, the first major storm of the year. Uh, but the fact is a lot of places are reporting it as an atmospheric river. So if I avoid the term entirely, which, you know, uh, might be better because this likely won't result in, you know, widespread flooding and, and the disaster that a lot of people associate with the term. Good, yeah. I think if I were to avoid the term entirely, then people may see it other places and just be caught off guard yeah. by, by okay. hearing it. So I think having the context that this is, you know, the technical term of this event, because there's just a long stream of moisture feeding in from the tropics towards BC is uh, useful, even as long as you, you know, um, include the fact that that this is a moderate atmospheric river, I okay. guess you could say. That's really helpful. 